Glenohumeral instability represents a prevalent issue among active youth. One procedure crucial to the management of this condition is arthroscopic anterior shoulder stabilization. The question of the optimal surgical position, beach chair, or lateral decubitus has been the subject of ongoing debate in the medical community, as both positions offer unique advantages. A recent study published in the American Journal of Sports Medicine closely examined the relationship between the choice of surgical position and the rates of instability recurrence and requirement for revision surgery. Researchers collected data from a consecutive series of 641 stabilizations performed solely by sports medicine fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeons from 2005 to 2019. The comprehensive analysis reveals a striking similarity in outcome between the beach chair and lateral decubitus surgical positions. The one-year recurrence rate for total cases was 3.3%. By five years, the overall recurrence estimate rose to 15.7%. These figures were consistently observed across the two positioning groups, with no significant difference noted. Interestingly, while surgical position did not noticeably influence the recurrence or revision rates, age emerged as a key determinant. In fact, the team observed a significant direct correlation between younger age at the time of surgery and increased risk of instability recurrence. Younger patients were also observed to have a higher chance of requiring revision surgery by five-year follow-up. These findings underline that surgical position does not significantly influence the outcomes of an arthroscopic anterior shoulder stabilization. This could allow surgeons to select a surgical position based on their training, comfort, and personal preference, without substantially influencing recurrence or revision rates. However, regardless of surgical position choice, the findings indicate that younger patients are at an increased risk of experiencing procedural complications and recurrence. The study, notably, has several limitations. First, the number of subjects in the two positioning groups was uneven which might limit the reliability of the conclusions. Additionally, this research did not consider important factors, such as the type and number of anchors used, or the number of preoperative instability events. Furthermore, clinical parameters such as postoperative range of motion and patient-reported outcome measures were not evaluated in this analysis, pointing to potential areas for future research. Nevertheless, this examination of surgical positioning choice for arthroscopic anterior shoulder stabilization provides critical insights for surgical decision-making. Most notably, the findings dispel the perceived disparity in recurrence and revising rates between different surgical positions and highlight younger age as a key risk factor.